Wall Street is set to open up in the red this morning after stocks faded into the close yesterday. That drop came as minutes from last month's Federal Reserve meeting shows. Policymakers are finding it harder and harder to forecast the path of the economy, which will depend greatly on what happens with the pandemic. The Fed saying the health crisis will weigh heavily on economic activity, employment and inflation in the short term. In focus today, we get the latest update on the jobless situation with weekly unemployment claims. Last week, claims fell below 1 million for the first time since March. A number of Google services, including Gmail, Google Docs, Drive and Meet, they've all been hit by a worldwide outage today. Some users report they're unable to log into their Gmail accounts. Others say new emails are not showing up in the app. There are also issues with uploading videos to YouTube. Google says it's now investigating that problem. More than 2 billion users rely on Google's G Suite of apps and services. More than a third of adults say they have less money set aside for a rainy day now than before the pandemic. A new survey by Bankrate finds 20% have no emergency savings at all. The good news, that's the lowest number that's been seen in the 10-year history of that poll. Another 20% say they have enough cash to cover three to five months of expenses. With your CNBC Morning Business Report, I'm Frank Collins.